Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to a uh, very special meeting of the Sioux Falls City Council. Today is Thursday, April 25th, and we're certainly pleased to have everybody here. Uh, we'll start our meeting with a roll call of your city council. Council members Aguilar? Here. Anderson? Here. Entman? Here. Erpenbach? Here. Jamison? Here. Karski? Here. Rolfing? Here. Staggers? Present. Thank you very much. Uh, as we do with every uh, city council meeting, we do have an invocation. Uh, we're very, very blessed to have Pastor Brian Narkomy of the Center of Hope here in Sioux Falls. Uh, Pastor Brian will lead us in prayer. We'd ask you to remain standing for our Pledge of Allegiance after Pastor Brian is done. Pastor, welcome. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day. And Father, I pray that you uh, just be with Mr. Hoother, city council members. Father, we just thank you for the uh, time of acknowledgement of you in this direction. Father, we just thank you and pray and ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Soon there are going to be folks visiting our great city from all over America. Uh, they're going to be doing this uh, in, in the months to come. What will they see? What will they hear? What will they ultimately think? Today, I, t I plan to provide you just a, a brief glimpse of our great city. We indeed, we have so much to celebrate on April 25th, 2013. My game plan today is to, fo is to follow the street signs on uh, this journey that lies ahead. So sit back and enjoy the ride. As you know, I'm an old business guy. So the first yard, the first uh, street sign that we see will uh, headlines saying rock solid financials. And definitely Sioux Falls, we are rock solid. This town is fiscally sound. Right now, we're experiencing solid revenue growth. We manage our financials very, very prudently. And I'm very, very proud to announce that we've got one unbelievable reserve fund. This town continues to grow. If you look at the value of our taxable property in our city, it's never been this high before. And if you can only imagine the, uh, the construction activity that we have going on right now, won't even show up on these numbers until 2013 and 2014. So even though we're experiencing record numbers now, this is only the beginning. In Sioux Falls city government, we really have two main sources of revenue that we have to rely on. These two sources, actually, they fund our government for the most part, starting with property tax revenues. Again, you'll see just record numbers when it comes to uh, the revenues that we're collecting from the property here in, in our town. That's a good thing. But what may be even more important for our town is sales tax revenue. We had forecasted a 3% year-over-year revenue growth uh, when we were looking back at 2012. As you can see, we blew that number away. Uh, we ended the year at about 5.6%, so almost double our forecast when it came to sales tax revenues. And the great news is that this trend line over the last three years is continuing. Uh, we have grown in terms of our sales tax revenue, our first penny or our second penny, every year for the last three years. Another thing that I think is important for us to look at are those discretionary dollars that may be out there. Well, look at the entertainment tax revenues. Again, we were forecasting 3% uh, revenue growth when it came to our entertainment tax. Well, we doubled that and more uh, in 2012. 
And this is a really, really good indicator of discretionary spending for folks that are living in Sioux Falls as well as visiting Sioux Falls. What are they doing? Well, they're eating out. They're spending their dollars on entertainment again. They're staying in our hotels. This is an unbelievable solid sign, not only for Sioux Falls, but for the Midwest as a whole. Sioux Falls, our revenues are strong. Uh, this is key. It's unbelievably key because as you're going to hear in, in some slides to come, this town is growing. And we have needs, whether it be infrastructure, uh, uh, providing services to our people that we'll need to keep up with. And the one way that you help make that happen is through strong revenue numbers. And again, Sioux Falls, our revenues are strong. I've been talking about something for three years since I've been your mayor, and that is the great value in saving as well as the value of investing. Well, in Sioux Falls, we know how to save. Uh, just look at our general fund reserve numbers. They keep growing. Uh, we saved an additional $1.8 million and put that into our piggy bank again uh, in 2012. Our goal is to keep it right around that 25% rate. Well, right now, we're at 36%. Just kind of give you a flavor, again, uh, we saved $1.8 million and added that to our, to our piggy bank. And we have added almost $4 million just over the last three years to our reserves. We've done that at a time that we've been repairing roads, meeting the needs of this city, uh, building event centers, improving river greenways, uh, keeping our citizens safe, and more. Uh, saving is important to the people of this city and this council, these 1,100 city employees, and this mayor uh, believes in that as well. Our piggy bank is indeed full. Uh, we've got $45 million in reserves that we can use for those rainy days. And as the people of Sioux Falls know, we've not only had some rainy days over the last couple of weeks, we've had some icy days. Other things to look at uh, when it comes to the financial strength of, of our town. Uh, our utilities are unbelievably strong. Uh, what, what you're seeing on the graph in front of you is the cash that is available in each utility, whether it be light, parking, landfill, water, or water reclamation. Again, a really, really solid sign for our city. Then we need to talk about what I believe was the number one win for 2012 once again. We found common ground. We used common sense. And ultimately, what happened? Real pension reform happened in the city of Sioux Falls. What happened in our town can only be dreamed about across America. And uh, we made it happen here. The taxpayers of this city will save $300 million over the next 30 years, thanks to the collaboration and the cooperation of our city of Sioux Falls employees. They worked together to benefit not only the employees, but the taxpayers as well. We do have 1,141 City of Sioux Falls employees in this town, and they are making good things happen every day. One of the things that, that I think is really important to look at the strength of your city is, do they like working here? Are they confident in the things that we're doing? Well, I think I'm very, very proud to announce that you bet they are. We've got a less than 5% turnover rate in Sioux Falls city government. That's unheard of in corporate America. Uh, right now, we've got a 4.94% turnover rate. We only had 71 openings in 2012. And then guess what? With those 71 openings, we had over 5,100 people that wanted those jobs. It's a great sign. People like working for the city of Sioux Falls, and when they get a job with the city, they stay. 
Let's go to our next sign on today's journey. Our economy is booming, Sioux Falls. Sioux Falls was once again recognized as the ninth strongest local economy in the United States. There is economic development happening everywhere. Let's just touch on just, just a couple of them. Glanbia Nutritionals, Twin City Fan, Metal Cells Manufacturing, Worthington Ag Parts, The Empire Mall, Shields, and on and on and on. There are indeed hammers and nails all throughout our city. Just take a look at the uh, building permit valuations in 2012. Sioux Falls, last year was just a tremendous year. It was the second highest level of construction activity that we've ever had in our town. Now look at this year. Take a look at this year. We're almost double and almost triple where we were last year at this time. Um, we've got some good news we're going to share with you tomorrow. The town is booming. Not only are we building stuff, but we're creating jobs all over the city. Our unemployment rate of 4.4% in 2012 was the best that it's been in a long, long time. And already through, uh, through March, we're, we're doing even better things um, when it comes to creating good jobs for our people. When I was running for mayor, uh, there was a consistent theme amongst the candidates. Jobs, jobs, jobs. Well, as you can see, Sioux Falls, we are creating jobs, jobs, jobs. If you haven't been to our downtown lately, I have a plea to all of you. You gotta come visit. You gotta come visit. Our downtown is hopping. Uh, it, it has changed so much in just the last couple of years with our River Greenway. Uh, we demolished a parking ramp. We're building a brand new Hilton Hotel. Uh, we've got some of the stalwarts in our community like Raven Industries that have decided to grow their corporate headquarters in downtown Sioux Falls and they are expanding and uh, renovating in just a, a major way. We have people that are dying to live in downtown Sioux Falls. Try to find a place to live right now in, our, in, our, in the heart of our city. It's really, really hard. And that is why you've got apartments and condos that are sprouting up everywhere. And in fact, in 2013, there will be at least 124 new places to live in downtown Sioux Falls, and I expect even more. Oh, and um, I should tell you, in 2012, the heart of your city, your downtown, opened up 23 new businesses. Unbelievable. Uh, 2013 has already had some ribbon cuttings as well, and there's more yet to come. Let's go to the next sign. I think I have a pretty good pulse on, uh, on what's going on in our town. I, I think I have a pretty good pulse on, on the people. Uh, the thing that I hear time and time again is, Mayor, you and your team are getting things done. We are. Uh, let's touch on a couple of them. Uh, the Denny Sanford Premier Center, uh, for example. Uh, we inked a record naming rights deal. Uh, one of the best in, in all of America for a market and facility of our size. Um, talked to Tracy Turback about the financing rates that we received. Couldn't believe it. An average of 3.13%. We have identified strong partners that will make sure that we operate this facility in the black for years to come. Uh, glad to partner with SMG, glad to partner with Ovations. Did you hear? We sold out the suites for the brand new facility in three days. Loge boxes are on sale now. 
Uh, Darren Smith announced that yesterday. By Monday, have one word for you. Gone. This town is just doing so well right now. The things that we talked about during the event center campaign, they're actually happening. They are. We're going to build it on time. We're going to build it within budget. We're going to use local men and women in our efforts to build it. And guess what? It's going to operate in the black. I'm so enthused. We couldn't have picked a better time to be hooked up to the Lewis and Clark pipeline. Could not have. We just experienced one of the worst droughts that we've ever had since the 50s or maybe even the 30s. Right now, we, we can receive up to 17 million gallons of water a day thanks to the leadership and the vision of leaders way before me when it came to the Lewis and Clark pipeline. But we are hooked up to falls, and that's a major win for our town. We've talked a lot about street repair. Well, we know how important it is to our people. And we just crossed the 200 mile mark when it comes to repairing, rebuilding, and replacing uh, the roads of, of our city. And not only do we have to repair these roads, we have to make them stronger. Again, as we've talked about, we've got three to 4,000 people that are moving into our town every year. And they're bringing a truck with them, they're bringing a car with them, and in some cases, they're bringing two trucks and two cars. What does that mean? Busy roads, so we need to expand them. And we've done that and we'll continue to do that, whether it be the Louise Avenue from 85th to 95th Street, 8th Street from Minnesota to Maine, whether it be these intersections at the Cliff Avenue, um, as well as uh, expanding the roads from 49th to 63rd on Cliff, Ave Cliff Avenue, Marion Road, one of my favorite projects, so enthused about that one, and so many other roads that uh, uh, we're working on right now. But there have been other major improvements uh, for your city, whether it be uh, uh, expanding our, our, our landfill uh, or improving our sanitary sewage uh, system that we have here. This council had the foresight, had the guts to invest over $20 million to strengthen our sanitary sewer system. The next sign on our journey involves our people. What are you going to see if you come into our town? You're going to see citizens that are unbelievably confident. Right now, the new census says that we've got 158,800 people that are calling Sioux Falls home. Well, as uh, Tracy Turbeck just announced the other day, uh, through, the, through the survey that was done, we've identified that at least 93% of those people believe that Sioux Falls is a good or an excellent place to live. Our people are also happy. 90% believe that Sioux Falls has a good or an excellent quality of life. Maybe more importantly, and maybe most importantly, the people of Sioux Falls are safe. 97% of the people that live here, they feel safe and secure during the day. And when it comes to our families, we feel secure. 91% feel that Sioux Falls is a good or an excellent place to raise our children. We've made really, really solid progress over the last three years on so many different things, and the survey results prove that out. Street repair, dramatic improvement. Code enforcement, dramatic improvement. Parks and rec programs and facilities, dramatic improvement. Economic development services, dramatic improvement. And then some of the things that's a hot topic that I'm really, really proud of, such as shaped places, for example, land use, planning, and zoning. Solid progress. But the people of Sioux Falls know that we can do more. This city council knows that we can do more. The 1,100 city employees that work here know that we can do more, and so do I. So what are we going to tackle? We're going to tackle our streets. We're going to tra tackle traffic flow. We're going to improve recycling. We have to provide more affordable housing. And yes, something that came out that we will work on as a team, because we know it's important, and Chief Barthel and his team will lead the way, will be we will improve our, our interactions with our police team. And we'll work hand in hand with downtown Sioux Falls to improve the perception of downtown safety at night. 
you folks know that I have high expectations, but I'm not alone. Uh, this city does as well. Let me just uh, quickly announce so that there's no recession in Sioux Falls. Uh, we've got record-breaking construction numbers. There's going to be a press conference tomorrow at 1030. Uh, I'd urge all of you not to miss it, and I think you're going to be amazed by the numbers that will be presented. We are creating good jobs with solid benefits in this town. And in fact, one of the real challenges that we have in Sioux Falls right now is we need to find more qualified and hardworking people to work. Uh, we're working with all kinds of entities right now to try to recruit good workers into uh, the city of Sioux Falls. So if you have family, if you have friends, and they are looking for a good job with solid benefits, have them look at Sioux Falls, South Dakota uh, as their next place to, to live, work, play. One of the real challenges that I see uh, in terms of uh, my team and the 1,100 city employees is that this town is indeed growing. It's growing at a pace that we haven't seen in a long, long time. We will stay focused on staying one step ahead of that growth. And what does that include? That includes, of course, major street projects for 2013, whether it be 6th Street in downtown, whether it be Russell Street, which will be a grand entryway for, for our city, whether it be I-90 and North Cliff Avenue, North Kiwanis, the Solberg Overpass, 57th Street and, and Western uh, Avenue intersections, and so much more, we need to keep investing into these roads. And we're also staying on track with another big project that we've been talking about since 2005. We feel good. At this time, the purchase of the rail yard appears very favorable. The target completion for the environmental assessment is in August of this year. And then we'll continue that nego to negotiate the purchase of the, railroad, of the rail yard. And our goal right now, Sioux Falls, is December of this year. We will ink that purchase. And it will create 10 acres of new development for the heart of our city. We're building things, we're growing, but at the same time, we've got 158,800 people that are learning how to live well. Um, it's an important project for our city. Uh, we know that obesity rates are growing uh, at, 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 at rates that we, cannot, we could not ever imagine. We know that the young people that live here are gaining weight uh, at a rate that we never expected. They're eating less vegetables, they're eating less fruits. We also know that diabetes is running rampant, not only in Sioux Falls, but across South Dakota. We think it's important enough to help people understand the importance of living well. And that includes implementing uh, important, and yes, maybe somewhat controversial programs like tobacco-free youth activities in our public parks. Tour Sioux Falls is coming up in June, and I'd encourage all of you to uh, get, those, uh, get those bike chains oiled up, uh, get those tires pumped up, start training now because June's getting right around the corner, and we want you to be part of it. As well as commute active, it will help stimulate physical activity for recreation and active transportation for the people of our city. People are flying out of Sioux Falls again. And in fact, they're flying out of, uh, out of our town in record numbers. We actually completed a complete runway intersection. We had it replaced. Did it impact us? A bit. But we still broke the record when it came to people flying in and out of our city. The airport authority, they constructed a new parking lot, which is so sorely needed. There's a new business lounge, additional restrooms, more gate seating, and, and an additional jet bridge as well, and, and so much more. And yes, Sioux Falls, something that folks thought would never happen is that we've got more competitive fares. Uh, you can fly into Sioux Falls and out of Sioux Falls, especially to the west, at rates that we could never imagine three years ago. Something that's important to me and something that we are going to hold folks accountable that are involved in the, uh, in the hauling industry is we are uh, going to do more when it comes to single stream recycling. 
We've made great strides, but we believe that it's the right thing to do, not only for the environment, but also for the Sioux Falls taxpayer. Because the less that we can keep out of our landfill, the more money that ultimately the taxpayer saves. And then, yes, by the way, it's the right thing to do. I don't know if any of you are, are aware, but uh, two weeks ago, uh, this city uh, went through what uh, many are calling one of the most unprecedented events in our city's history. Um, we had uh, uh, an ice storm come through our town with a magnitude that we could never have imagined. But we're winning, like we always do. Uh, we're tackling this thing together. And on April 9th, we started the Emergency Operations Center, and we have gone through 815 centerline miles of roadway and made that safer. Uh, we, are, we are working with the neighborhoods of 73 square miles of businesses and homes and, and parks, uh, and we are making them safe and vibrant and clean again. Uh, we've got 75 parks that we're opening up more and more of them every day, uh, 30 miles of bike trails that are already open for the people to enjoy. We've got 35 miles of waterway that we're going to work with the state and the federal government on to make that as vibrant as it was and maybe even better by the time this is done. In fact, I'm proud to announce Sioux Falls that by the time this day ends, about two weeks since we had the ice storm, I'm proud to announce that the first pass will be completed. Uh, it's, it's, it's an amazing accomplishment. Uh, and, and it has happened because of the leadership of, of so many and the involvement of so many. And, and the people of our town were, uh, were a big uh, key to, to that. Let me end by saying this ice storm only makes us stronger. Negative news nationally doesn't deter us. In this town, we believe in hard work and common sense. We demand that our fiscal house is in order. Our family and our faith ultimately drives us. We tackle things together and ultimately we are survivors in South Dakota and in Sioux Falls. There is no stopping us. Thank you. Opposed, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you, Sioux Falls.